So have you told Sonny? No, I haven't told Sonny yet. You should tell Sonny. I'm going to tell Sonny. Just make sure I'm not around. <laughs> you won't be. So, uh, like, what are you gonna do? I don't know, man. Get another job, I guess. It makes sense. Because Sonny definitely wouldn't tolerate a guy with no job. Yeah, I know that. But what are we doing here? Oh, uh, just trying to see if there's a camera behind this mirror thingy. Why? Just curious. Are you thinking of stealing? I have a job. <laughs> well, then what's the point of even looking behind the mirror? I'm just curious, that's all. That's all. Alright, it's not all. Just, I want to know how many of these companies are just cheap bastards that put the mirror thing up to make you think there's a camera behind it. D does it matter? Yes, it matters. Alright, there's no camera in this store. I don't want to buy from it. If there's no camera, you're not going to buy from the store? It's retarded. <laughs> What's this? This is... Alright. If a store has a camera, then I'm going to buy from that store. You know, whether it's hidden or in plain sight, I'm going to buy from it. But if the store has no camera, and they don't try to hide it, I'll still buy from them. You know what I mean? All that really tells me is that either they don't care, and they can afford not to have any cameras, or they just can't afford the cameras, period, which really isn't their fault. But if these stores have one of these mirror things and there's no camera behind it, I'm not buying from that store, especially if it's nice. Because all that really says is that they can afford to have the camera, yeah, but they're just being lazy, cheap bastards and choosing not to, to save face. Maybe that's how they got rich. What? By being cheap. That's true. That's true. This store's not cheap. Check behind the mirror, man. Damn it! Let's get out of here. I don't know. I, I didn't do anything wrong. You know? I don't know either. I don't get how you could be so stupid as to let him fire you just like that. When someone fires you, there's not really much you can do. There's plenty you can do, okay? This is America, and there's laws against that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I just... I didn't want to start anything, you know? Of course not. Of course you didn't. Oh, by the way, have you uh, thought about what you're going to tell Sunny? Nope. I'm probably just going to tell her the truth. That's stupid. And you have about ten seconds to rethink your approach because there she is right there. Damn it. Sunny! Damn it, man, why'd you do that now? Alright, she sees you. Uh, she saw you first. She's gonna think you were sneaking around. She's probably gonna think you were ignoring her. Hey, babe. Uh, hey! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at work. Uh, it's funny you say that, actually. Hey. Yeah, yeah work was kind of crazy today. So. Crazy? Crazy how? Got canned. Hey. Uh, uh, oh, I, I thought it'd be funny. You got fired? Well, not exactly that. What? Well, yeah. For what? I don't know. You don't know why you got fired? Nope. Shut up! Gus! Yes? Why did you get fired? I don't know, I just, I think they don't like me. Well, what reason did they give for firing you? They said I wasn't as good a salesman as Roger Wheatman. Hey babe, sorry, they didn't have any duck sauce. What? Who are these guys? Um, they're just a couple of friends, hon. Dan, I'd like you to meet Gus and Lewis. How you doing? Hi. Dan. <laughs> That's it's okay. Uh, Sonny. Gus, you need to get your life together. You can't let people walk all over you. Tell me she did not just say that. I, I know, I, I know. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to change that. Change it yesterday, Gus. You're a nice guy. You just need to man up every now and then. Yeah. Hi, Sonny. Hey, it was nice meeting you guys. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. One day, one day some of the kids from the neighborhood carried my mother's groceries all the way home. You know why? It was out of respect that night.